hey guys and welcome back to my channel is it Jama here and in today's video we are going to learn how to sew a lace with a short lining so this is the lace that i will be using for the tutorial and first of all i will trim out the edge of this lace that is the down part the place with the design the reason why I am trimming out the edge of this lace is because the lace is short, the length of the lace is short, so I will have to cut it vertically, like I will have to fold vertically and after folding vertically, I will go ahead and sew this edge back in order to achieve the length that I want. So I will go out and trim out only one side of the lace so i'm done trimming that out and i'll go ahead and fold my lace i am cutting an a-line gown so i want the length of the gown to be very long so i'll go ahead and fold my lace i'm managing this fabric the fabric is just three yards so i'm managing the fabric had it been a hat up to four yards it would have been easier so i'm trying to determine the full length i'll subtract the half length the half length is 17 but i subtracted seven a 16 and half because i will use half an inch to join it at the waist so i have marked 60 and i will add an extra five inches to the full length the full length is 65 inches so it will flow that's why i added an extra five inches so i will cut it from that point where i measured my 65 and that is it i will not add any allowance because i will still join back the edge of this lace so i felt that people need this tutorial because this half lining is trending recently so i decided to make a video on it so i'll subtract my half length and i'll measure from my shoulder to my waist and that is 27 my shoulder to my knee that is 37 and the rest is the full length so i'll take my waist measurements plus two inches seam allowance i'll take my hip measurements plus two inches seam allowance and at the knee i will subtract eight inches from my hip measurement that is if your hip is 44 subtract eight from the 44 and then divide by four so i marked um I marked 11 there because 44 minus 8 is 36 divided by 4 that is um that is 9 plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 11 that's why i marked 11 and i have marked my a shape sorry i don't have a log ruler it's broke so i'll go ahead and cut out this a shape this is for the front and after cutting the front i'll go ahead and fold my fabric for the back so um i'll keep the front part aside and i'll fold my fabric for the back i am managing this fabric remember so i'll fold for the back so the back will not have a tail like you normally say say call it it will not have a long train so i'll manage the back i'll just manage and cut out the zipper allowance so after folding the material i'll place my front on this fabric that i folded for my back parts So after doing that, I'll go ahead and mark out my zipper allowance. I'm trying to arrange my camera so you guys can see what I am marking. So I'll add my zipper allowance. I added like two inches zipper allowance and at the side, the shape will remain the same. So I'll go ahead and cut out the waistline, the half, the zipper allowance and the side of the a shape 
so i'm done cutting and i'll trim down part and then i'll keep aside so the next thing that i will do right now is to cut out my lining i'm using a doll face as my line as my lining and i'll cut this lining twice that means this dress will have a double lining and i'm still using the doll face for the double lining when i'm sewing a lace i like using the doll face for the main lining and for the inner lining i don't know why but i just love it that way i love the finishing it gives me so time to cut out the lining i will fold and i will place the lace on top of the doll face so my client said that she wants the lining to stop at 36 in 35 inches remember that the full length of the gown is 65 inches but she wants her lining to stop at 35 inches so i will go ahead and cut this lining at 35 inches and i'll remember to add one inch seam allowance that is 35 and that is 36 36 is plus one inch seam allowance then i will cut and the lining will end at the point where i marked 36 inches you get so um this is the lining for the front so if you place the lining inside the lace you will notice that the lining will be shorter than the lace itself so i'll finish cutting for the front and i'll fold for the back i know that a lot of people know how to do this but i just want to show you guys how to sew it so that you will not see you will not be seeing where the hem the where they folded the edge from how to i'll show you how to turn the edge with a lining so that it will have a clean finishing so i'll repeat what i did to the front at the back i'll mark 36 and this one will also stop at 36 inches So um, the next thing that I'll do is to cut out the lining. I told you guys that I'll use the doll face for the lining as well. So I'll go ahead and place the first lining on it and then cut out the second lining. So I'll open my zipper allowance. And that is it for the back so i'll go ahead and cut out the lining for the front and after cutting the lining for the front we will move over to the sewing machine where i will show you guys how i joined and sewn with them with this lining so this is it for the front i'm done cutting the lining for the front so the next thing that i will do is to move over to my sewing machine so first of all remember that i trimmed out the edge of this lace so i will join the edge to the edge of the to the full length the place where i cut my full length so you will take your time if your lace is short this is a trick for you so you will take your time and sew the edge back back to where you cut it out from so this is for the front part i'll go ahead and join for the back parts as well
so i'm i'm done for one side of the back and i'm joining for the last parts of the back or the other side of the back piece So um, the next thing that I will do is to join the lining to the lace itself. So I have placed just one lining as you can see. I have only one lining here. I have only one lining here. I'll keep the other one for turning. So if I turn the back you will see that I have only one lining here and the shiny part is facing front is facing the outside so i'll go ahead and hold the lining and the lace on the sides so when you are approaching the end you will leave um half an inch you will not join this lining till the end you will leave like half an inch or one inch close to the damp part you can see what i'll do right here so if I want to run a stitch here, I will start like from one inch, one inch from where the lining started. So I will now run a stitch to the upper part. The reason why I'm leaving this one inch or half an inch is because this is where I will turn the main fabric with my lining. So I will repeat this thing on the back part as well. I run a stitch but when I'm approaching the down part of the lining I will leave like one inch or half an inch for turning my lining with my lining so here is the front one I'll go ahead and um, turn it with my lining I'll show you guys how I place the lining so you place your lace like this so after placing your lace you match the lining you make sure that the waist is at the waist side and the knee is at the knee side so you will turn your lace up you shift your lace up so that the place where you left half an inch or one an inch will be showing so you place the lining like this this way and you will run a stitch this is the reason why i told you to leave half an inch or one inch because it will give you the space to join your lining so as you can see i'm joining the doll face to the other doll face without touching the lace the lace will not be affected so after doing that you open and you will top stitch you will top stitch on the lining
so that is it guys so after doing that this is how the lining will look like so shift your lace inside and turn the lining over just shift your lace inside and turn the lining over this way as you can see you can see how i'm holding it then you go ahead and run a stitch this will join both the lining and the lace so i'm just doing this in order to cover the sides so i'll go to the other side i will shift the down part of the lace inside and i'll fold my lining over and i'll join so as you can see i'm joining both the lining the inner door face and the outer door face i'm joining everything together My short sleeve is giving me uh, issues. It is cutting thread. It is part of the tailoring. So after doing this, you will turn the lace over just trim out the excess thread that you have and you will turn the lace over so you bring out the pointed parts or the edges and you make sure that they are relaxed so if you turn your lace this is how it look like as you can see the down part of the lining is turned you will not see any stitch from the outside so, and the sides of the lace is torn, are turned as well so i'll go ahead and run a straight stitch at a straight stitch at the waist part in order to hold the main fabric and the lining together so after that i will trim and that is it guys this is it for the front i'll go ahead and iron for the sides as well so if you turn the inside this is what you will have it is looking neat on the inside as well at least you cannot see where i ran a stitch at the hem part of the lining so i'll go ahead and repeat the same for the back parts i'll match my lining to make sure that the waist is facing the waist and then i'll turn my lace over i'll turn my i'll roll my lace up and i will turn the edge of the lining so after doing that you will top stitch on the lining And after top stitching on the lining, you fold your lining up, shifting the down part of the lace. You fold your lining up and you close the sides.
so after turning all of them you go ahead and iron so i've ironed the front and this is how it looks like you can see where the lining stopped at so i'll go ahead and measure and when i measured the length is at the 35 inches that i wanted so um here is the inner part here are the sides so i'll go ahead and join the zipper allowance for the back you know that i love shaping my zipper allowance before taking my full body measurement so i'll go ahead and close the zipper allowance i'm marking out my zipper allowance so after closing the zipper allowance i will iron before taking my full body measurement so this is the zipper allowance i'm done ironing and i'll go ahead and place the front and the back together and take my body measurements so i'll go ahead and take my waist measurements my hip measurements and my knee measurements so in order to get a figure eight just subtract eight inches from your hip measurement if your if your hip is 44 subtract it from it and divide by two so here is the finished look of the um, gown with the short lining please do not forget to subscribe do not forget to subscribe like and please share my video thank you guys for watching i will try my best and upload more and upload often i'm always busy most of the time that's why i delay with my upload thank you thank you for watching please please do not forget to subscribe see you next time bye